What happens when you take a truck full of flowers, a group of devoted volunteers, and a partnership with Santa Barbara's Public Gardens to City Hall? This happens. It's what they call a flower flash mob. The wealth of gardens we have here in Santa Barbara, there are so many different styles of gardens. So it's wonderful that you can just get out, experience it, and take a little bit of that home, and just to value how much gardening brings to our lives. After City Hall, they took their enthusiasm to the streets of Santa Barbara. I loved it, and it's so great to give flowers to everyone. It reminds me of my teen when I used to be uh, you know, love child. Still am, even though I'm older. <laughs> <laughs> you might be wondering why would five gardens get together with their executive directors to give away a bunch of free flowers. Besides to have a lot of fun, it was to raise awareness for May being Santa Barbara's Public Garden Month. We started this uh, as a one day event to celebrate National Public Garden Day, but we decided that it was so popular that we wanted to do it for a whole entire month. We decided we wanted to figure out a way to celebrate that together and to help promote each other rather than compete with each other. This was such a wonderful opportunity for us to jump on board, to take advantage of all the wonderful publicity that the partnership has been exposed to. We decided we wanted to work together to help promote uh, our public gardens. And that's what May Public Garden Month is all about. Casa del Herrero, Lotus Land, Rancho La Patera and Stowe House, Alice Keck Park, and the Santa Barbara Botanic Gardens invites you to come for a tour today. We've got over 50 activities going at all different gardens and all around the, the city. And our website, so that you can see all the activities, is sbpublicgardens.org. And um, so we're handing out flowers to people and uh, letting them know about Public Garden Month. <laughs>